Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And so today is Batch Tuesday, uh, Security Update Tuesday, which is the second Tuesday of the month. We are May 10th, 2022. So uh, anything fixed in here, any bug fixes for Windows 10, not in the Patch Tuesday updates. Although if you've got the .NET Framework updates, that did fix not just security, but it had a few things that the .NET Framework had a problem with that could apparently be fixed in there. But Windows updates themselves are just security updates, except for one exception or one little thing. It does have a um, servicing stack fix, which means a fix to improve the reliability of Windows updates. Now, um, I will actually starting this month because somebody asked it and I think it could be useful for some of you that the updates don't work. I will also post with each uh, information about the updates, the uh, page with the download of the security updates for uh, Windows. So here is the link that I'll be posting. If you are on Windows 10 64 bits, you go down the list and you find the update that is here called 2022.05 Cumulative Update version 10 uh, for 20H2 or above, of course. So that is going to be uh, KB5013942. This is for every version of Windows above. So this is going to be okay. All you have to do is to check out the um, update, the cumulative update. So here you see LTSB, Windows 10, and so on. What you need to do is find the one that says Windows 10. Of course, if you're on the long-term support, you can download this one. But for most people at home, you're on a regular version. You need to simply find the one that says Windows 10 version 1903 and later. And so this will, of course, be the update. 666 megabytes. It's very big because it actually includes a lot of previous updates. So that's why this is so huge. The updates themselves in Windows Update are much smaller. And that's the 64-bit uh, version. And there's a X, x86 just underneath. That's the uh, version for the 32-bit uh, version. You click the download button on the right side and you click the package to install. Don't worry, you downloaded the wrong one. It's going to tell you, nope, this is not for you. So there's you know no risk of having any problems. So, so I'll share the link to the download here for this. And last but not least, what does this fix? Well, there is a uh, fix in here. The security fixes this month actually are for um, 75 security flaws across every Microsoft product. So it's not just Windows. Uh, 75 flaws across different products, three zero-day flaws, one that is already exploited by bad guys. So this means it's important to actually update. There's 21 elevation of privilege vulnerabilities for security feature bypass, 26 remote codes execution, 17 information disclosure, 6 denial of service, 1 spoofing, and there's none for Chromium Edge right now. So... Uh, that's good news for that. So it's important to uh, actually apply the updates, especially for that zero day that is already exploded in the wall by bad guys, which means that it's an increased risk. And of course, three critical flaws that could be easily exploited also that will be fixed in these updates for Windows 10. So if you're on Windows 10 and you want to know if you have the latest update, simply type the winver command for Windows version. And in Windows 10, you should be either at 19.04.2, 19.04.3, or 19.04.4, but the ending should all be at 17.06, 17.06. This is, as of today, May 10th, 2022, the latest updates, and you know you're secure and have all the updates for Windows 10. Once again, if you're on 20H2, remember, you got to move on. Today was your last chance to get security updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.